They play hard. You got to tip your hat. They definitely play hard. You can't go freaking bear hunting with BB guns. There's no tomorrow. We don't win today. My name is Dave Hudgens. Uh, played in Anchorage, Alaska in 1976 for the Glacier Pilots. Played at Arizona State uh, college baseball. Well, yeah, I went to Arizona State, and back when I, you know, back in those early 70s, mid 70s, uh, Anchorage and Fairbanks and Kenai, they were always the school, always the summer teams that a lot of the, you know, USC and Arizona State and some of the better players got an opportunity to go up there. So uh, I felt. You know, at that time, the coaches felt that that would be a good spot for me to be. I was one of the younger guys playing the team. I think that was my my sophomore year. You know, it was a good experience to play with better players. I think everybody on that team was probably a better player than I was at that time. I think just gaining experience and playing against different competition was the, was the key. Well, I started the season. My sister got married in 76, so I, and I'm from Northern California, a small town called Oroville. So she was married to... Uh, yeah, I can't remember exactly the, where we were, but I had to fly back, and then I remember flying back, and then I think we had tournaments starting right after that, uh, in the Alaska tournament. Bill Wardley was first round pick, so I mean, we had a bunch of good players on that team, and you know, Augie Garrido being the manager, he's a college baseball legend. I had some friends, some other guys, a, uh, 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 Chris Nyman played in, in Kenai, Alaska, a guy named Mike Hildebrandt played in Kenai, Alaska, they all went to Arizona State. They kind of spread us out from Fairbanks to Anchorage and Kenai and, and those teams to, I think, to play with different types of players, to play with other guys during the summer. I think it's a good experience to, to do that, just to play with different guys and get to know different coaches. Uh, manager up there was Augie Garrido, who ended up going to Texas. He was at Cal State Fullerton. So you, you get different perspectives and learn different things about the game and play with different players. I mean, similar to what you do in professional baseball. In that extent, except you're so so young and so immature, you have no idea what's going on. No, just for for a college kid, it's a good experience. Uh, the people treated us great up there. Uh, I remember being almost like the Wild West, you know, a little bit. It, it was it was uh, uh, tons of people up there. I didn't know, it was, you know, I, not that it was huge or big, but there was a lot of people up there, and uh, you know, like. Restaurants, it seemed like they were open all night and everything was open all night. It seemed like it seemed like things never closed and and you really had to you had to be careful where you went sometimes, you know. There'd be some rowdy people out sometimes late at night. The flying in the planes where there was no door in the cockpit and uh, you know, the little pedal jumpers going to Kenai and being the biggest mosquitoes I think I'd ever seen in Kenai. Boy, it was tough. You know, you just put all kinds of off on and uh, just keep swatting them away. But they were so big, you know, you tried to, you couldn't run away from them. They were, they were there. So all kinds of off and just try to dodge them as much as you could. The, you know, a memorable game, I think, was always the midnight game. I think we started at midnight without the lights. Was uh, They probably do that every year. And that was something new to me. You know, playing with some pretty good players. You had the opportunity to play with, you know, Mickey Hatcher, like you said. And I think another guy I played with up there was Chris Bando. He's a good friend of mine. Was, might have been with Mickey for that uh, escapade. Yeah. Somebody had to climb up a tree. Somebody's bear was chasing or, or something. I can't quite remember exactly what it was. We were never that, uh, I, we didn't have that kind of imagination, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I can just remember <laughs> really working all the time during the day. Yeah. So you see, the better players usually got the jobs where they got to work on the field. So they probably had a little more free time. So I was one of the young guys, so they gave me the toughest job because they knew it didn't matter if I was tired because I wasn't going to play that much anyway. So Augie was a uh, demanding uh, type of uh, manager. Expected a lot out of the guys. Um, you know, you had to work hard for him, and I, I enjoyed playing for him. I mean, many years ago, I'm sure he's changed a lot since then. He let you have some fun, and but he was demanding. You know, rooming with Bill Wardley. He went to USC. He was a pitcher. He was the number one pick in the country. I think in '76, I believe that year, he was the number one pick in the country. Signed with, I believe, the Giants. I've been friends with him for years and years, and we still see each other. He's a, worked for the FBI for years. He was a CIA agent in Russia, and uh, now he's one of the head of Major League Baseball security. So. Uh, we roomed together up there. I remember putting foil on the windows, uh, trying to keep the sun out because it was sunny all the time, trying to sleep. We worked together at a, uh, at a post office, uh, went fishing together. The people we stayed with up there uh, took us salmon fishing. And 
you work during the day and then play baseball at night? Yeah, we did. We did some fishing, caught some salmon. Uh, they had barbecues, you know, or the barbecue salmon and kept cookouts. And families up there treated you very nice, took care of you, and gave you a place to sleep and fed you and uh, came to the games and big fans. And, and uh, yeah, I think it's a great experience for a college kid. You'd stay up all night, it was still light. You didn't know, absolutely didn't know what time it was. So that was always. That was a little adjustment period, knowing, hey, I can't stay up all night. I do have to get some sleep. I think, you know, if I, if I think back about it, just really how tough the game is. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's fun at that time because you're young, but having to work all day and then going to play and then being in professional baseball where that's all you're doing is, is playing the game, I think <clears throat> it's a different perspective. You know, and then when you're going to college, you... Uh, you're studying all day, and then you got to go play baseball, you know, in the evening. So uh, it's 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 just a learning experience how to deal with life and other people and different types of people and and uh, environments. You know, I'd never been to Alaska, never knew anything about Alaska. And, uh, it was a beautiful country. I remember going and seeing some glaciers and, and having some different experiences. Beautiful uh, area that we, that we stayed at up there. So uh, you know, it was. One of those things where it's probably hard to define exactly what you got out of it, but it was it's always a memorable experience being there.